That was a loud clap. <laughs> I can barely hear anything right now. Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Friendly Fitness. Sorry, I'm still ringing. Um, but anyways, we're gonna do 10 minutes of cool. Uh, yeah, it's not a long workout. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. All our unique core exercises, so it's a little bit of a twist though, and it's that every time we go into a plank or a high plank position, we have to start by doing five push-ups. All right, so we're gonna get a bit of bonus burn going on in the pecs, shoulders, triceps, all that good stuff. So every time we go into a plank-ish position, five push-ups. Don't let me forget, I won't let you forget. What else is there to talk about? Make sure you've got a lot of water in the body. I put on some chapstick before doing this just because I wanted to. Um, you don't need any equipment, maybe a towel because you're gonna get sweaty. Got some space, maybe throw in some tunes because we gotta start this workout. Oof. As soon as I hit this thing, we're gonna get, weirdly enough, a 15 second break because I'm gonna show you what the first exercise is. So here we go. Oh gosh, this thing is started. Okay, we're gonna start by doing a triple crunch to a triple leg extension. So I'm lying on the floor. Keeping my lower back down as I press, oops, as I do three crunches, and then I'm gonna keep my knees still and just straight my legs out times three. Let's start right now. Three crunches. Keep the knees still. You can put the hands on the floor if you want, but I'm straightening those legs out as best I can while trying to keep my knees nice and still. Three crunches. Three leg extensions. You can also try just keeping the arms back here and just press that lower back into the floor oof, with your core muscles. Three more. And then up we go. Three extensions. It's easy to hold the breath on some of these, so try not to do that. We only have about 10 more seconds before we get 15 second rest. Here it comes, the end in three, two, one. 15 second rest. So we're going into that plank position, which means we're gonna have to start by doing five push-ups, but we're gonna do a plank walkout. So let's start with these push-ups first. Here we go, guys. You can do these on the knees if you want to, but let's bust out five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm done that. Now I'm doing a plank walkout. So staying in that high plank position, I'm walking my hands out, Walking them in. I'm leading with one hand and then the other. So here I go, lead with the right, right, and then the left. And then bring it back. You can go on the knees if you want to, but try to make this a nice and controlled tempo. Notice that I'm not flashing these hands in and out super fast. I'm taking my time. Here comes the end. Three, two, one. Let's get 15 seconds of rest. Going back into a sitting position, we're about to do a side to side crunch. So, I'm gonna keep my knees up, my feet on the floor, and I'm just gonna crunch to one side of my legs, back to the middle, and then crunch to the other side. Let's just go. You can go for a slight pause at the top if you want to. You can limit that range of motion as much as you want. You don't have to do a big reach. But I like to just imagine I've got like a basketball or something. And I'm just trying to put it on both sides, or on either side of my legs. Whew. So, there's really not that much to talk about for the rest of this. So, just crank up the tunes. We only have 10 more seconds anyways. Whew. Try to hold it up for a split second ah, to get that nice burn in those obliques. Here we go, time. Okay, 15 seconds, and then we're doing some push-ups times five again. After that, we're gonna go onto the elbows and do a Spider-Man plank. So, six seconds, here we go. Five push-ups, please. Starting right, two, one, let's go. Five push-ups. One, two. Okay, so now I'm going, to my, <laughs> going onto my elbows, and I'm gonna bring my left knee Nice and close to my left elbow, then bring it back. Right knee comes close to the right elbow, bring it back. Whew. I'm bringing my knees out to the side. They're not really going under my body, they're going to the side of my body. And there's no hurry. Take your time on this one, and try to keep your hips still. We have only 10 more seconds. Right until the end, 
And it's in three, two, one. 15 second rest, sitting position. We're gonna do the M leg raise. I totally invented this, check it out. So, I'm lying on the floor. I'm gonna keep my legs straight, lower back press down. I'm gonna put my hands on the floor just for support. Look at this, I'm making an outside arch and then an inside arch. So I'm making a big letter M with my legs, but I'm starting in the middle. Option is to bend those knees. Does not have to be a huge M. And if you want, you can write it in the sky. You don't have to write it super close to the ground. But if you're feeling good, big arch, big arch. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna say the name of the fast food restaurant, just in case there's a little quarantine bot listening, <laughs> or not quarantine, copyright bot. But this might be the similar shape as a big letter M of, you know, <laughs> anyways. Oh gosh. Take a few seconds. <laughs> We're about to do uh, some push-ups again. <laughs> Quarantine I don't know where that came from, but that's okay. We're gonna do a hip dip plank, but first we gotta do some push-ups times five. So here we go, right now. Five push-ups, please. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm in my plank position. I'm gonna get my right hips close to the floor then my left, hip, left hip's close to the floor. Whew. You can do this at whatever tempo, feels good. If you're listening to some music and it's got that beat and you just cannot resist letting those hips move to that beat, uh, then don't resist. Just let the music take over. We got less than 10 seconds though. Whew. You can do it nice and slow. Whew. You can do it at a bit higher tempo, but we got two, one, whew. Hey, it's happening. We're getting through this, guys. Next up, we got a sprinter sit up to alternating knee tuck. Whew. On the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna start by reaching with my right hand for my left foot. Two, one, let's go. Sprinter sit up means reaching for the opposite foot. Whew. And then I'm gonna do an alternating knee tuck. <sighs> I started by going for my left foot. I'm starting on the other side this time. Whew. And then I'm moving that right knee in first, then the left. Let's do it. Sprinter sit up. Whew. Reaching for the opposite foot. Knee in, knee in. Rest. Let's go. Whew. Explode up. Try to keep that good posture. Whew. Let's do this for another six seconds. I think I got one more rep in me. Here we go. Two, one, time. 15 seconds rest. We got less than three minutes to go in this workout, guys. <sighs> we're doing some push-ups, five times five, of course, and then we're gonna do a mountain climb. So we're gonna be spending a lot of time in that push-up position this time. Two, one, let's go. Five push-ups, down we go, up we go. Whew, times five. Three, four, five, okay. And now I'm getting my knee close to my chest, and then the other side. I'm doing this at a relatively low tempo though. And I'm really trying to get my knee close to my chest. In fact, I'm gonna go for a slight pause at the top and really try to get it close. The result is a pretty sweet burn. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. 10 more seconds. Two, one. 15 second rest, we're gonna do a hands up crunch. Now, for this one, you got lots of options. You can either have your hands out and do a classic crunch like so, or try to have your hands pointing up the whole time. This is gonna be a lot more challenging than a conventional crunch where we have our hands out like so. So try to keep them up, and try to go for that big range of motion. This is the last core exercise from a sitting position. So if you got a bit of gas in the tank, then you think you can use it up. In the next 22 seconds, now's the time. And if you wanna have those hands even a bit behind you like so, go for it. It's extremely challenging. And let's just do our best to get this little second to last exercise done. Here we go, six seconds. 
three, two, one. Oh, 15 second rest. I could go for a bit longer than that. Last exercise, five push-ups, and then we plank. So, let's do these last push-ups together. Big in. Whew. Okay, I'm done my push-ups for this workout. And now, I'm just gonna do my best to hold a really solid plank for the last 30 seconds. You can do these on the knees, of course. As long as you're keeping those glutes tight and keeping a nice straight line through the hips, we're good. Do your best to hold this for another 15 seconds though. We're almost there. Last 10. No problem, everybody. Five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, time. Ooh. I get it, I get it. The oven's preheated. Okay, <laughs> guys, uh, the oven is preheated. I think my core is about 350 degrees right now. Um, that was awesome. Whew, I feel the burn here, but I also feel it in my shoulders, a little bit in my pecs from all those push-ups. So, hey man, wherever we feel that push, or that, that burn, totally cool it. Thanks for joining in uh, for that 10 minute core exercise. If there's ever an exercise you wanna see more of, just shoot me a comment, we'll make it happen. But as always, I'm totally gonna talk for way too long at the end of this, unless I stop right now, which I'm going to. So I'm gonna get some water, I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight and have some delish coffee tomorrow morning. Guys, you're the best. As always, I'm Andrew, this is Friendly Fitness. Peace.